Hey, today we're going to be going over how to set up Google Analytics tracking in a Next.js application. I have a basic application here that routes from a home page to a second page. We're going to be tracking uh, page view as well as event metrics. Um, so we're going to first start by either creating a new account, which I already have, or creating a property for an account in Google Analytics. I'll have links below to the site to do this. Uh, we're gonna create a new property here. We're gonna call it, in my case, temp. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, next, business size, small. We're gonna be using it to measure customer engagement within our site and application. And we're done. Uh, we're going to choose the platform we want to collect data on. It's going to be web. We'll put in our website. Um, you know, I'll just put in a test website right now. And we're going to create a stream. What you want to do is you want to copy and paste this measurement ID. We're going to be using this later on in the application. Okay. Okay, uh, now that we have that Google Analytics measurement ID copied, we wanna go ahead and add that to a environment file. Uh, let's create a new file called .env.local. Um, and then within this file, we're going to add our uh, Google Analytics tag that we just copied. We wanna prefix a name with next underscore public underscore uh, Google Analytics. Um, this will allow next to kind of insert that variable uh, into the code. Um, so I'm gonna copy and paste a example variable here. See how it's called next underscore public Google Analytics. Um, we now wanna actually use this to insert a Google Tag Manager for our site, as well as uh, set up the G tag um, suite of functions in, in our window. Uh, we're gonna do this within the document file. Uh, if you don't already have one, you can create one. I'm actually gonna copy and paste the script as well as um, the setup to get the G tag in our window. This is actually also pretty similar to the setup that's already hosted on uh, the Google Docs for um, setting up G tag to your site. Uh, we just need to do a couple of different changes to support this in Next.js. Um, again, I, I'm gonna have that link below in the repository. Essentially, you just wanna copy um, these two scripts, add them within your, your head elements. Um, and there you can see it's using the environment variable that we just created as well. Um, so next step is we wanna create a helper file that's gonna have two functions that will help us use this uh, G tag function in the window to send both page views and just regular click events or um, any kind of custom events that you want. Let's create a new folder called lib with a file called GA for Google Analytics.js. Um, this is gonna have two functions. I'm actually just gonna copy and paste these as well. Again, they're linked um, in the repository below. Um, but the two functions will be one to send a page view, uh, which will take an input URL and then send that page path um, with the page view event, as well as just a generic event, which takes an action, um, which is a custom name event action. It could be like search. Um, and then with params, so you can actually add the search term to that as well. Um, so when we transition to a new page with Next.js client-side transitions, we want to be able to capture the URL that we transitioned from and transition to. Um, so we're going to be able to do that with a use effect hook and then listening to the Next.js router component. So let's import all of the functions and components that we're going to need. And I'm going to copy and paste the use effect hook. Um, and I can just quickly explain that here. So essentially, we want to listen for a route change event. Um, and then when that happens, we want to emit a page view, um, which is going to just send a page view event to Google Analytics. Um, and we also want to make sure to unsubscribe from these events in the router uh, once our component is unmounted. Um, so let's verify now that we're able to actually get some page view events. Um, let's go to our application, local host. Okay, looks like Rado's not a find. I may have not imported it. I did not. Let's do that here. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, now that we've added the router, we should be able to see our event being triggered. Let's go to page two, wait for the Google Analytics uh, beacon to be sent. There it is. Um, what you can see, you can see the URL as, that we just navigated to. Um, let's go back to home page now. Note that from home page to page two was a next client side transition, so it's using the next link component. Now this is going to use a um, AHREF to do the navigation. Um, navigation with the AHREF won't actually call the um, custom functions that we created, but Next will still be able to send, or sorry, um, Google Linux will still be able to track that metric, and you're actually seeing that here. Um, there, here's our page view for the home page from page two. Okay. Um, I think now we want to go ahead and try and set up um, event tracking. Now that we have page view tracking, so let's open that back up our code here. And we're going to want to use this function that we just created um, here events. So let's create a button on our home page. And it's just going to say click me. And let's import that event um, function that we have. Lib GA. Okay, and on click, we're going to want to send a new event. Okay, with the Following data, remember it takes an action in any parameters. So let's call this action uh, search. And the parameters we're going to take in will be a search term. And let's just call it temp for now. Okay, so clicking on this should actually fire a manual event now as well. So let's go back to our web page. Here we'll see the click me button. Um, let's close this. Click me. Should actually see this event being fired here. There it is. Right, so we had a custom search event being triggered uh, with the search term temp being sent as well. Okay, so that's click tracking. I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. There is another optional thing that we can do as well, um, where if you have automated testing, you can actually set up um, the test to block the Google Analytics host so you don't send false data uh, to Google Analytics. I'll have that linked um, in the repo below. It's in the readme file on how to do that. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is how you set up Google Analytics tracking in a Next.js application.